Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very uh, good morning, uh, afternoon and evening to all of you. Alright, uh, so for this particular week, I'll be handling your um, lecture on Unit 5 of uh, Intensive Communication Skills. If you have gone through your Unit 5 EE campus, Unit 5 will be on uh, the topic of stress. Alright, stress, friends or foe. Right, so there are several skills that will be covered in in unit five, all right, and uh, all of them will be comprising of uh, intensive communication skills, all right, and um, they will be listening skills, speaking skills, note taking skills, uh, pronunciation skills, and also presentation skills, all right. So after you have read, uh, sorry, after you have watched uh, the tech talk video. All right, and embed it or uh, upload it uh, in YouTube via link, which is given in your uh, eCampus. Okay, you will get the whole idea of that particular unit. But most importantly, you need to understand the skills provided or given uh, in this particular week or unit. All right, number one, all right, listen for cause and effect. So when we are talking about cause and effect, all right, usually you will understand that in a particular sentence that there will be causes or reasons and then uh, they, there will be aftermath or the effect of the of the of the causes all right or the reasons right so when you listen to a lecture or when you listen to a speech presentation and things like that it is important for you to understand cause and effect relationship usually cause and effect comes in relationship form all right so sometimes you need to infer the relationship from the context and other times the speaker will use signal words and phrases so meaning that sometimes you will have to come up with your own inference or your own early conclusion all right of what particular uh, cause and effect are being taught or are being given or provided in in the lecture or in the presentation but in other times all right good speakers or good presenters they will provide you with signal words and phrases to help direct you throughout the presentation all right read and listen okay of course you will not be listening to anything i'll be reading it for you all right as a result all right, usually this is an introductory adverb. All right, so what is an adverb actually? An adverb is a word that modifies the verb. All right, for example, walk slowly. So slowly is an adverb. But in this particular form, all right, you are not modifying any verb. All right, and they call it as an introductory adverb because you are modifying the sentence, right? So as a result, your blood pressure and breathing rate remain high and your muscle don't relax all right so this is one of the particular um, words used to indicate the effect all right the effect uh, the cause and effect relationship but this particular one is to indicate the effect all right so it will be uh, <clears throat> then they will indicate you the cause as well maybe um, due to uh, unhealthy eating habit all right as a result your blood pressure and breathing rate remain high and your muscle don't relent really things like that okay because by all right is a verb use all right caused by nowadays our stress tends to be caused by uh, psychological fear or worry about the future all right not physical danger okay next one lead to is also a verb this leads to chronic disease all right due to heavy smoking uh, due to uh, um, um, let's say Abu uh, like uh, Abu likes to smoke a lot right this leads to chronic stress all right so it doesn't have to be in one particular sentence without any full stop right you can stop the sentence first Abu I uh, love smoking very much this leads to chronic disease okay a fact all right this is a verb next week we will take we will talk about how chronic stress can affect the brain the stomach and the muscle so the reason or the cause here will be uh, chronic stress and uh, <clears throat> the effect here will be brain uh, stomach and also muscle effect all right all right or well, immediately call it memory kesan effect okay effect is the noun all right it's a noun the effect of chronic stress on the heart are the easiest to explain all right this will indicate a result so right Okay, so usually not everything will have um, um, cause and effect. Uh, mostly they will have cause and effect relationship, but sometimes the signal word use, all right, will help you to direct yourself towards the cause and also effect being delivered in the speech. Okay, next one. All right, 
previously we were listening or li or hearing about listening about a uh, cause and effect right now you will be talking about cause and effect all right so when you talk about cause and effect all right signal words are useful but you need to use them correctly all right so uh, you can study here the information chart and pay attention to whether the words are noun or verb you have to identify whether the words are noun or verbs all right the word order and also the prop preposition if any in on above besides all right left right those proposition all right all right if it is a verb all right then you will use effect all right chronic stress affect the body in many ways okay if it is a noun you will use effect of or effect on for example an effect of chronic disease on the body is an increased risk of heart disease all right so you have both of them in your sentence again an effect of chronic stress on the body is an increased risk of heart disease okay next one if you use a verb it will be cause all right chronic stress can cause headache all right but if you want to transfer it into a noun chronic stress can be the cause of headaches all right next one if you are using verb result in all right a stress response that lasts too long results in chronic stress all right stress response is a, is the cause and results in chronic stress is the effect but if you're putting it in the noun form result of chronic stress is the result of a stress response that lasts too long okay all right going further all right thought groups all right so this one will be um particularly special to pronunciation skills which is called thought groups all right so english speakers group works into segments of meaning called the thought groups all right meaning to say that when you are delivering speech or giving a lecture you will be segmenting you will be segmenting your speech or points all right into a few thought groups all right thought groups help the listener to understand and process information right because they, they, they are provided or they, they are given into small breaks or pauses at the end of each talk group all right so it will help you as a listener or as a viewer or as an audience to process the information one by one long sentences might contain several talk groups all right short sentences might contain just one or two talk groups all right so in simpler words when you heard uh, presentations when you heard uh, lectures and things like that all right uh, the speaker or the lecturer or the presenter will will uh, not just use one particular tone and then continue the whole sentence without giving uh, a break or giving pauses to to particular chunks of sentences so those are called talk groups all right things are important all right will be uh, given a slightly short pause all right so that the audience can process or just to make it uh, easier for for the speakers to give uh, important information to the audience all right so all right listen to this one you experience acute stress when you are in physical danger all right sometimes you might listen to people say you experience acute stress when you are in physical danger yes in one whole breath but actually all right a good way of delivering this particular information is by putting it into talk groups you experience acute stress when you are in physical danger all right a short pause in between these two chunks of sentences can help the audience to direct all right which one is the cause which one is the effect which one is important which one is less important all right although there are no definite rules all right there are no definite rules for putting words into talk groups all right but here are some right example of guidelines that you can use all right you can use uh, uh, a, a, a these presses all right and they should not and you should not separate them if you found these phrases okay for example adjective all right from the noun they modify so you have an adjective <coughs> and it will modify the noun for example acute stress so acute here is the adjective and stress here is a noun adverbs from the words they modify all right so adverbs can modify the verbs all right of course walk slowly or they can modify uh the adverb itself all right just until or even modify the verb all right modify the verb itself okay for example uh uh you know uh the, the uh down to the very bottom of the sea if it's modify the adjective um if you use it an adverb all right i walk very slow or things like that okay very simple one all right so when you 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 uh you are 
putting or delivering your speech, all right, these particular um, uh, indicators will help to direct your audience towards important points of your speeches, all right. Preposition from the nouns or noun phrases that follow them, for example, in physical danger, all right, above uh, the limit or things like that, okay. The parts of a verb, all right, it can be be verbs and also main verb, for example, is gone. Okay, so sometimes when, when you have these indicators, you will know that the points are very important. You yourself as a speaker, all right, when you deliver speeches, you can use this indicator to indicate that the speech or the points, uh, some of the points that you are delivering are given into chunks of important points, okay? All right, uh, symbol. This is very simple note-taking skills, all right? To show relationship between ideas, you use symbol when you take notes, all right? It will allow you to take note more quickly. Of course, you have your own symbols. Uh, cause, all right? Cause uh, X, the arrow will go towards Y because X causes Y. Or effect Y, the arrow will come back to Y, all right? By X because Y is, uh, is uh, the effect of what happened to X, all right? Similarity and differences, so uh, more the same, okay, uh, more than or less than, these are mathematical symbols that you can use, all right, or plus, all right, or minus, or things like that, amount, all right, decrease or increase of amount, okay, going up or going down, or stagnant, all right, just a stagnant amount, okay, very simple, all right, <clears throat> varying your space when you, 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 you provide, uh, you, you are uh, presenting, all right, uh, you can vary your, your pace just to help, again, direct your um, audience or listeners throughout your speech, all right? So, by varying the pace of your speech in the presentation, okay, uh, it can help you to emphasize on important, interesting, or maybe unexpected piece of information, all right? Uh, it will help you to create drama and suspense, of course, all right? So that your audience is eagerly waiting for what you will say next, all right? So, for instance, you can vary your pace by uh, using pauses before and after the information you want to emphasize. And, and these pauses uh, should be longer than the pauses that you normally use uh, if you are making it more dramatic, uh, something coming in. At the peak of your presentation, so the pauses will be a bit longer. All right. So, after a few while, we have found out that the reason behind this case is just uh, the thing that is happening in our neighborhood all right okay maybe it's not it's not gonna be the same as what i'm saying just now but that are the um uh, that are the example of how pauses can be used can be utilized in your speech all right so showing slowing down your pace uh just before you get the information you want to emphasize and then speaking slowly when you give that information so to going to the presentation and when you are coming to the peak or the the point or the main point that you want to deliver to, all right, you will be slowing down, all right, and then you will give a more, you know, subtle, ta subtle tone towards that particular information, all right, all right, so read the excerpt below, all right, maybe you can put it into your own, uh, your own, you, you read it on your own and put it into your own style of varying paces, all right, style of putting pauses in your speech, all right, for example, this is my style. I want to tell you about uh, one of the most underappreciated aspect of the stress response. And the idea is this. Stress makes you social. All right? To understand this side of stress, we need to talk about hormone, which is oxytocin. Okay? So, paces doesn't have any particular, uh, particular rules. All right? It depends on your style. It depends on how you deliver your speech. Okay, all right. I think that's all for from me. Uh, one yourself. All right. So I hope you do enjoy Unit Five. All right. Uh, go through Unit Five and don't forget to complete your assignments. So the assignments will be covering only from Unit One until Unit Five, and the skills will be covering only speaking uh, and also presentation skills. All right. With that, I thank you. All right. Stay safe. Sanitize yourself. Wear mask. All right. And don't just go out if you got uh, nothing to do outside. Okay. Assalamualaikum and have a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.